Top of the morning. This is the top. The show where we talk and you get her get entertained. I'm Abby. And I'm Tyler. And we're glad to start your day with us. Now let's get started with our local tops. What the? Not a word. Not a word. Okay. 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 I'm scared to All three Lexington TV stations okay. covered the mock uh, disaster. Good morning. I'm your your Brady, <laughs> A.K.A. Fucker Legs. What's the daily scoop? <laughs> All three Lexington TV stations covered the mock disaster. Several of our avia excuse me, several of our aviation students were interviewed for the news and did a great job. Skills USA is back and better than ever. Skills USA is an organization that allows you to compete in competitions related to the classes you take here at Eastside. There are also leadership competitions that show what you know in the area of job interviews, public speaking, and more. Skills USA. Skills help connect you no. to new friends. No, no I'm sorry. No, I'm sorry. Yes. people in yes. your perspective yes. careers. There are also opportunities to earn scholarships for college. Seats are very low, actually. Don't leave. There's more exciting news to share. This includes the pop block where we will talk about new games, releases, and movies coming out. We will see you soon after the break. <laughs> Welcome back. It's time for Pop Block. Wow. Uh, Pop Block is the part. Pop Block is a part of the show where we talk about all things media. From media news, movies, games, shows, we have the things for you. For you and you only. The most important thing in the entertainment industry is the strike. Since May, some have said we have been in Hollywood apocalypse. Writers and actors going on a strike, which has made it seem impossible to release movies and promote them properly. This isn't their fault, though. They are going on strike because of the low pay that is being caused by our friend and enemy, artificial intelligence, or AI. This is causing major projects to be delayed in big picture studios. They can't release their movies because they will get no promotion from the stars in the movie. This is a good time for studios like H24 and other indie producers to be able to release their movies and stand out among their projects. Now, part of the show where I'm not very, you know, loving, but Friday, the 13th, one of the, some might say the unluckiest day, and this is maybe why. Uh, it's an unlucky day for some, but for the Swifties, they're having a blast. Exclusive to AMC Theaters, Taylor Swift Eras Tour will be a movie documentation of the first leg of the tour. The movie already has $26 million on ticket pre-sales, which beats most Marvel movies. Swift is able to release this movie by herself, so there was no need for big deals with studios during the strike. The Swifties are making a big threat for movies like The Exorcist Believer and the new Martin Scorsese crime We're epic killing. killers of the Flower Moon, an expected blockbuster for this year. Barbie and Open Oppenheimer were two very different movies that came out on the same day. This started a craze of memes and gained each movie definite boosts in ticket sales, even though they were already high. The September a famous movie series gets its 10th movie, Saw X. But on the same day, September 29th, a group of pups celebrate their 10th anniversary by launching a second movie, The Mighty Paw Patrol. Two very opposite movies, a movie about cute super pups saving the day, and a movie about a strategic killer getting revenge on those who scammed him out of life. Now, I just want to know, for the people who did watch Barbie and Oppenheimer, which one did you like more? See, I never liked Barbie. But I will say that Oppenheimer movie was, was tough, man. I'm not even gonna lie to y'all. Mortal Kombat 1 release and in the pre order sales, NetherRealm sold over 15 million copies. Street Fighter 6, another fighting game released this year, had 2 million copies sold in its first month. Mortal Kombat 1 sold more than 7 times the amount of copies you can buy the game now, digitally or physically on PS5, Xbox Series consoles, and PC. There's a premium edition which includes all the DLCs early as they come out, including Mortal 
including Combat Pack 1, which includes characters such as Homelander and Peacemaker. Although it almost seems we're at war with these other shows, trying to get the shows out better and faster than each each other, we still like to watch their shows, not only to support them, but also find better ways to improve our show. Now, this segment of our show, we're going to call this Theory Area. Or Theory Area, sorry. Our first theory is that Elon Musk is actually made of sand. Why else would he want to go to a waterless planet? Come on now, we know this. So he doesn't get soggy from mushing and stuff. Come on, man. Whoa, that's crazy, but did I actually think Elon is making his rockets out of bread? How else are we how else are they supposed to survive without gluten? You know people can be gluten free, right? Uh 